Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you God for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Leo, we start with the Three of Swords, all right? The Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. All right, so um, it looks like you could have something new or someone wants to start something new with you. Somebody from the past could want to start something new with you. And then for some of you, you could have a new person here. This is an opportunity that you can grow, you know, a relationship you can grow, but you're gonna to have to put the time, energy, effort, cultivate this. And if this is you giving an old person another chance, you're really gonna to have to put a lot of time, energy, effort behind this. It says that an opportunity is being presented to you, no chase. You're not gonna to have to chase this person or this opportunity. And if you don't see it, look again, because it's here for you. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles showing up. It, self, it says that you've got to, some manifestation of, of what you've been hoping, wishing, and praying for is showing up or has shown up for you, okay? But there's still like you, Leo, or another person looking at the past with the Nine of Wands. It's like you can't see the future or you can't be in the present because you're, you're still looking. Look how he's looking at the past. You're still looking at an old situation. Maybe that didn't work out. That was too chaotic. It was too drama filled. There's a lot of um, discord, a lot of disruption, um, disharmony. I don't know if this is what's blocking you. Maybe you haven't dealt with maybe some past or residual energy from the past to where you can't really build upon this new thing. You might need to take some time away with the hermit card and think about what it is you want for your future and, and make sure that whatever you're doing your own personal philosophy what you believe in what you have made true for yourself make sure that it's getting you the outcome that you are wanting if it's that you want to be married in a committed relationship whatever it may be Make sure that your behavior, your attitude, your personality is contributing to that outcome. If it's not, then it's something that you need to change within yourself. Somebody else could not want to let you go because they're addicted to you, addicted to your energy or vice versa. This is you. You keep looking at something else or somebody else from the past or somebody else looking behind themselves or they're not, they're going to make some decision here, call, make some judgment call in terms of a, a relationship, in, in terms of a, a partnership, some union. You're going to have to decide, are you in and in or out? Are you renewing this or, or, or is it over? Are you going to give this person another chance? Uh, the universe is asking you to make this decision here, make this judgment call. Are, are you renewing or is it done? And they want you to make a snap decision. It shouldn't take forever to think about this you need to come to determination what are you doing because it's like you you're in between worlds of having something new or somebody new or being on the precipice of getting something new or someone new but also needing to deal with infidelity heartbreak third-party situations situations where you just didn't win or um, there was some something or someone who was stirring up trouble in your connection for some of you it's gonna be a family member you're going to have to determine, are you going to um, operate differently now in this new connection? Or or when you give this old person a new chance, what are you going to do differently? Because it can't be the same. And some of you are going to have to stop looking backwards, okay? Um, some of you are de trying to determine, um, should you give a previous relationship another, another chance, another try? There is somebody here saying, please work with me, okay? Because they think that you're absolutely sexy, hot. Um, you could be saying, I'm not happy, or someone else is not happy. Um, somebody feels like you're a material girl or guy, um, but they love you, okay? 
And again, some of you are in between worlds because you pray for someone just like the person that is showing up and manifesting in your life. But you, you also have some things that you haven't told them. Um, and you're stuck to a past energy, to some heartbreak from the past. You need to work on how to share your life with this person. How do you share your lives with each other? How do you come together? It says the three of pentacles here. This is what I have for you, Leo. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the buy me a coffee link. You could buy me a coffee. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you.